connections. It is, because she's anticipating a scratch. <laughs> that little arm's been so squished, it's probably real sensitive. Did you want to keep that one? Or are you yeah, tossing that one? You're going to have a closet full of cats. <laughs> no, I don't want a closet full of cats. I know. It's just you've kept three of them, I think. No, two. Oh, yeah. Did I keep my last one before this one? Yes. And that, we've been staying indoors in 70 degree hey, what's that? <laughs> house. Oh no, it's peeling. It's not. Hang on, hon. Mm -hmm. I'm going to rip off my skin. Mm -hmm. Try not to. That's dirty, Tuck. Yeah, it's alright. After it came off, this is what it's looking like. Day one. I don't know. So I guess this is day two since it came off yesterday. But I'm gonna turn it a little bit. So you see. No, oh, look. Like. better or worse than yesterday? I don't know. Let me put, the, put them side by side and look at it. You get a picture after this? Yeah, I'm, I'm taking some pictures while they're doing. Okay. This is her cast. Got some little leopard spots there. Um, and here inside you can see that was all My her skin. skin that got torn off because it had fused to the cast. Pretty gnarly. Pretty, uh, Gross. pretty bad. Very painful. Very itchy and then very painful. Like a burn. Or worse, I don't know. It really a hurts. Blister. You've had the skin torn off a blister only, and a huge, huge part of her arm. And that's why. Reaction to the cast, having a reaction to having it on there, with the fibers staying on her skin, and now that's the result. That's what happened. It ended up making her skin rashy and reacting and then sticking to it and then pulling it all off after three weeks of it being on there. So, yeah. Okay, so I've so torn out some of the inner lining that had the skin fused to it. And you can see it, it soaked all the way through to the fiberglass. And so... It's soaking through to the fiberglass. The fiberglass is able to soak through back through to her skin. It's making the reaction worse and worse. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this is basically like her skin uh, melting all the way into the uh, the fiberglass of the cast. Like this is all of the the cotton batting and the stockinette is all pulled away from this. I can touch the fiberglass. You can see the uh, pattern of it. Like this is, that's how far and how deep it went. It's, it's in there. Okay. It's soaked all the way through. This is the back of the cotton batting. This is the, the top of it. Um, so there it is. So, you've got 
contact dermatitis and got that running in your family, say it's a risk factor. Don't <laughs> don't break any bones. Especially don't, don't go get a cast on because it is bad, bad, bad news. But if you do break your one, you have to get a cast on. Yeah, I mean, there's really not any options for that. Maybe you could be at a better, like, bigger hospital where they might have other options, but this is all the options we had available to us, and it turned out pretty, pretty bad. My bone is, Mom. Yeah. That so this was one of the worst spots on her arm that, uh, it's, like, the most raw, and this is... Break is. Yeah, this is right where it's broken, and then um, that's so where there is a lot of damage to her skin. Right there, and it is just glued down. Like all the other stuff, you know, were. Her skin wasn't fused to it. Like, it pulled away from the fiberglass really easily. But here it's like glued down because of the, uh, the way her skin fused to it. And yeah, it got stuck into the cast. Wow. It is just. Really? Look, now it's a giraffe. <laughs> it's a giraffe cast. I love that. Her arm was in there. Her hand came out. Here and then it went all the way down to here. Same on this side. Yep. 